started off with just a very weak raw sienna wash lots of water clean brush then I'm going into the ultramarine and again just sort of dancing around the clouds Where we can see the clouds, see the, the see the blue sky. Now we're going to have some water here, so I'm going to get that reflection in straight away. So I'm not going to worry about that later. Now for some. So these are the white clouds in the sky. I'm just going to stick some a few shadows and a few grey clouds. So I'm going lizard and crimson, pines grey. Obviously the closer they are to you, the bigger they are and then as they disappear over the horizon they get smaller and smaller. Now for the distant hills, so it's back into the raw sienna ultramarine well, these ones they're not too distant this is going to be just a little little scene by the shore so I'm going to put this it was about that high you can see because I've got ultramarine and raw sienna on the brush at the same time you get a nice little mix as it comes off almost mixing the paints on the paper itself and then once I've got it on I only, I only go over the same piece of paper once now that's there I'm going to make sure I don't go over that I'm just going to come slightly below it just catch the top of it and just come off it slightly and it leaves you with these nice little lighter areas these little mystery mystery areas if you like bring this down now we got some I'm introducing a bit of pines grey just to make it dark because there's a few dark trees scattered about here and there back into the raw sienna as we come further down towards the shoreline a bit of lemon yellow because I want to keep it green still It's just stretched evenly all over. I don't got to worry about the paper cockling or anything like that. So I'm going back. I still haven't cleaned the brush, incidentally. I'm going into the dark grey, into the Payne's grey, lemon yellow, nice dark green, and just start sticking a few dark bushes and trees just as it just divides up the land here on the uh, the hillside there by the water some darker trees up there in fact I'll darken all that little area because I'm going to have a little a little house there I think trees continue around there and 
up the hillside. Bit of ultramarines. I think I'll clean the brush now. Now as we come down to the shoreline, I'm going raw sienna. Just a touch of burnt umber. A bit more burnt umber. Ultramarine. Sienna. Just keep burning it. And raw sienna, pine's grey. Just a quick sweep straight away across. Ultramarine, it's just darker area down here at the bottom. 